Did you know that Mount Everest used to be underwater? The summit is actually full of fossils of trilobites and other weird little Ordovician guys. Hi everyone, astrobiologist here to talk about a surprisingly complex mountain. The highest point on Earth was once the floor of an ocean. That rock is 470 million years old. And it's only been up there for 50 million years because that's how old the Himalayas are. They're still going, by the way. The collision between the Indian tectonic plate and the Eurasian tectonic plate is still happening, making Mount Everest two millimeters taller every year. Now, the Ordovician is a classic era for weird little guys. It comes right after the Cambrian, where stuff gets big, and right before the Devonian, which includes the invention of the fish. Land does not have plants yet, and all of it's in the southern hemisphere. Also, the Earth has a ring for a little while. It's a very bizarre alien version of the Earth we live on. The trilobite is the most famous guy from the Ordovician, but there's certainly weirder guys out there, like this guy. This is a graptolite, which is kind of like if a jellyfish was a worm colony. What does this evolutionarily accomplish? I don't know. I don't think I'm meant to know. The Ordovician was a very strange place. Another guy you might find on top of Mount Everest is the nautiloid, which is kind of like a proto-nautilus. This guy has figured out how to make shells, but has not really optimized them into the nice little spiral shape that we're familiar with. Anyways, Mount Everest has a crazy structural history because the Himalayas are 50 million years old. But the peak is 470 million years old, and parts of the bottom are only 20 million years old. Plus, there's this big yellow sandstone layer near the top that's Cambrian sandstone, so that's like 500 million years old. Geology is very complicated. So the remains of various weird little Ordovician guys are all up there, covered in snow, frequently adjacent to the much more geologically recent remains of human beings that succumbed to the brutal conditions of Everest. So when you're up there, on the top of the world, you're also on top of a much different and very ancient world. Just something to think about the next time you summit Mount Everest. Thanks for joining me on this one. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.